Welcome back. Okay, May is National Pet Month, and pets are basically furry members of the family, right? And just like portraits, just like we want to have portraits of our family members, some of them anyway, <laughs> why wouldn't we want them for our pets? We have one local artist that's making this happen all over Jacksonville, Lauren Close. She's the owner of Artistic Air, and she's here to show us some of her work. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And it, it already looks great in here with these, <laughs> <laughs> these portraits. So tell us a little bit about what is Artistic Air, how did it get started, and why is there an E at the end of it? <laughs> okay, so Artistic Air, I started back in 2002 after I graduated from James Madison University. Um, I grew up in Virginia and got a degree in fine art Yeah. and decided to start my own painting business after I graduated. Um, and I named it Artistic Air because I knew that I would be dipping into both my musical and my artistic sides. Um, and air, with an E at the end of it, actually means song in Italian. Oh, so. nice. Okay, so there's like a little hidden message there. Yeah. All right, so it's National Pet Month and it's just... It, I found you on Instagram and I remember I came across this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is <laughs> awesome. So how did this all come to be like this pet art? How did, how, what was your first one? How did that happen? So our first pet portrait, and I say R because I work very closely with my husband who's also an artist, graduated from Flagler. Okay. Um, so he's local as well, but um, our good friend uh, shot our wedding. And she's a photographer, and she refused to be paid for her services and, you know, photographing our wedding. And <laughs> We could use more wedding photographers like that that just <laughs> refuse to get paid. Yeah, she, you know, we knew that she wouldn't accept any money from us, and we knew that her dog was the love of her life, uh, Stella. And so we painted a portrait of her dog and presented it as a gift to her. And that's what started it all. That's what started it, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so... How has the response been so far, just like to all the, the pet art? You know what, it's, it was kind of a surprise at how quickly other people started inquiring about, you know, getting their own commission of their own dog painted. Yeah. Um, Suddenly everybody's like, do mine, do yeah. mine. Yeah. I mean, people are huge pet lovers and, you know, we all love our pets and they mean a lot to us. And I actually recently got my first um, international commission from New Zealand. Wow, okay, so, so you've garnered a lot of attention actually, because I think you, weren't you in um, Jacksonville? I was in Jacksonville Magazine and yeah. Dogster Magazine's Pet Issue. What was that like having your work showcase there? That was uh, really awesome. You know, we went to a local um, Jack's kind of brewery and uh, dog spot downtown, and I met with Jacksonville Magazine, and it was really awesome. Okay, so. so how long does it take to make something like that? Um, well, this is my dog, Cora, who's okay. the love of my life. Um, this is a cat that I painted, Shadow. And um, the wait time on these portraits can be anywhere from three to six weeks, depending on how backed up I am and how much business I have. Right now, I'm about seven portraits deep. So. Gotcha. <laughs> so you're, you got your work cut out for you right now. Yeah, so I paint at night when my kids are sleeping, and I paint during the day when they're at school. <laughs> and you do all kinds of art, not just pet art, right? You have Correct. Um, just artistic murals. Like, what was the biggest mural you've painted? Um, the biggest mural that I painted was at my uh, daughter's elementary school, Valley Ridge, out in Nocatee. Okay. And um, it was 42 feet wide. Wow. And it started about 10 feet up. So we were on lifts and scaffolding, and it was crazy. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how long, I guess, would be, if, if at this point, if someone wanted something, how, what would be the wait time on that? Um, the wait time for a pet portrait would probably be right around four to five weeks. And, you know, the mural work is a little different. I try to squeeze those in on the weekends. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, sometimes my husband will come with me and we'll work together to kick it out faster. And, you know, we'll ask the parents to watch the kids for yeah. us um, so that we can, you know, be efficient and quickly and, you know, not disrupt the home too much. So Awesome. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much. And where can people get some more information or find your work? Um, I'm on Facebook at Artistic Air, on Instagram as well. And I'm Lauren Close. I'm also on Facebook. So. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And you can find this segment again on our website a little later, firstcoastliving.net.